Hello everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today's video is all about identifying the common symptoms of a bad starter solenoid. This small but important component often goes bad and needs to be replaced, preventing your engine from turning over and starting up. The solenoid is responsible for physically pushing the starter drive gear out to mesh with the flywheel and crank over the engine when you turn the key to start. Basically, it's the switch that activates the high current draw starter motor. Common signs of solenoid failure include clicking from the starter area but no cranking of the engine. This usually means the solenoid is trying to engage but can't fully push the drive gear out. You'll hear distinct rapid clicking as it makes and breaks contact. This points to a worn-out solenoid that can no longer handle the high electrical currents needed by the starter. The engine cranks slowly or weakly. If your starter spins but doesn't turn over the motor with normal speed and power, the solenoid may be worn out. It's not able to fully engage and provide full contact to the starter motor. This often causes a low, labored cranking speed from the weakened electrical contact. Intermittent operation is very common too. Sometimes the engine will start up fine, other times all you get is a click or nothing happens at all. This on again, off again starting is incredibly frustrating, but it screams faulty solenoid that is making and breaking contact inconsistently. You might also notice the smell of burning electrical components when trying to start. Bad connections cause resistance, which then builds damaging heat. A distinct burning odor usually pinpoints terminal damage or wear inside the solenoid. In severe cases, you can visually spot problems like cracked housing, broken mounting bolts, corroded wiring connectors and terminals, or even arcs and pits on the contacts. If you see external damage, it definitely needs replacement. Now what actually causes these solenoid failures? Most come down to high current wear over tens of thousands of cranking cycles. All that juice flowing across the switch contacts slowly erodes and pits the surfaces. Heat buildup then accelerates contact degradation and oxidation. Contamination is another top killer, as dirt, debris, and moisture build up on the terminals or inside the solenoid. This interferes with the electrical connections and multiplies resistance. Mechanical shocks from engine vibration or collisions can also damage solenoids. Cracks then develop in the casing, wiring insulation breaks down, and electrical connections get disrupted. Diagnosing which symptom you have takes some starter-specific testing. For the favorite click but no crank issues, I first use a multimeter to check battery voltage actually reaching the solenoid. If good, I then check for voltage output from the small trigger wire when the key is turned. This tests if the ignition switch signal is being properly sent. No voltage here means you need to diagnose the ignition circuit. But if present, then voltage should also be seen at the output large terminal when an assistant cranks the key. No voltage indicates the solenoid switch contacts have likely failed open. You can similarly test cranking RPM issues by comparing voltage drops on both sides of the solenoid during cranking. Too large of a drop points to excessive resistance from bad contacts wearing. Checking continuity through the solenoid with an ometer will help find intermittent contact issues from worn components and bad connections. If testing confirms solenoid problems, replacement is needed. Just be extremely careful working around starters and batteries. Disconnect the battery ground, carefully remove all electrical connections, extract the starter, then swap in the new solenoid. Reinstallation takes some finesse to align the gear drive spline, so be patient. That's the basics of diagnosing common bad solenoid issues. Let me know in the comments if you've had starter troubles or questions about testing procedures. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe.